Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today it is my final but also my first gel polish Halloween design. So it is the last, the sixth and last Halloween design I will be doing this year. And this is made on natural nails with gel polishes only and just some cute embellishments and some golden um, leaf flakes. So if you want to know how I made this, please keep on watching. So first up, my nails are completely clean, or at least the right hand I'm going to apply all of the gel on. And I really wanted to make a design with this cute gold and red stoned spiders, because I got them a while ago at AliExpress, and I've never used them before. And since it is Halloween, it is the perfect occasion. So you just want to buff up the nails to get rid of any um, natural shine or anything like that. And I just sprayed it with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of any extra oils and just some dust. Then I'm starting off with the thumb as usual and I'm just applying the Extend Base Coat by Pink Jellock. All of the um, gel polishes I'm using in this video are by the brand Pink Jellock and you want to cure that for a full minute. Then I'm going in with beautiful black that is 120 if I remember correctly and it's just an opaque um, creamy black color and you just want to apply a thin layer of that on the entire thumb capping off the edge as well then because i wanted to add a little bit of like a burgundy red in there i wanted to make a gradient but it doesn't have to be like super perfect because it is a really dark color so if it isn't blended perfectly that's okay because we are going to apply a little bit of black afterwards and capping it off with a little bit of that burgundy again before curing it for a full minute it. and if you do this like me and just apply it with the brush from the bottle make sure you clean off that brush before you put it back into that bottle so yeah that's what it looks like after the first cure then i'm just going to apply a little bit of this thicker gel which is like a rhinestone or gem uh, gel glue if you want to call it like that and I'm just applying a little bit of that to the thumb and I'm going to um, encapsulate that with a clear top coat as well this is a non-wipe one and I'm going to apply that spider to that just pressing it down slightly before you cure it for a full minute and I think I actually cured this for two minutes in total because I did apply that thicker gel and the top coat as well so after your thumb is completely done, you just want to apply a base coat to your uh, index finger and I'm going to apply that same black um, into layers to that nail. So you just want to start off with a really thin layer, capping off the edge and curing that for a full minute. After that, you just want to go in with your second layer and cure that for a full minute as well. That way the black is completely opaque and because it is Halloween season, you want your black to be perfectly opaque. You know what I mean? And while that's curing, I already got out my um, gold leaf like paper or flakes or however you want to call that and I'm just pressing that in the sticky layer of the just cured gel polish and sorry guys I was a little bit out of, out of frame here because I was so like into doing my nails I wasn't paying attention to uh, if I was in frame or not so I'm just applying some pieces of that gold leaf stuff to the pointer finger onto the black and I'm capping that in with a little bit of shiny top coat. This is a non-wipe top coat because I prefer those. I don't like the hassle of having to clean off my nails after I fully, uh, fully cured them. So yeah, just apply your top coat and cure it for a full minute and your pointer finger is done already. I really like the way this looks compared to with the um, red and the spider as well. I think it looks really, really cool and it is really Halloween-y, but I feel like you can still wear this for like the rest of um, like the first half of November. So yeah, um, up to the middle finger, I wanted to make that same kind of gradient or ombre effect as I did on the thumb. And we are going to apply one of those spiders in the center of that nail as well. So you just want to apply your black, 
fade it with a little bit of that red and then go in with the black and the red once again capping off the edge as well and cleaning off the brush before you put it back into your bottle because you don't want to examinate any of the red with the black and you don't want to examinate any of the black with the red either so that you just want to cure for a full minute and just grab your thick um like gel glue again to um adhere that big spider gem to so just grab a tiny bit place it to the center of the nail you just want to twirl it around a little bit to get it in place the way you want it just grab your little embellishment press it on gently i just do this with my finger because i felt like my crystal katana was too small for that and you just want to cure that for a full minute as well then i didn't go over that um not cured sticky gel with the top coat i just wanted to try out and see how it worked applying the gel top coat afterwards and it did turn out pretty nicely the one on my uh, middle finger actually didn't come off at all the one on my thumb did so just a little like heads up if you use that thicker gel to apply gems with just apply it at your gem and cure that for a full minute before you go in with your gel top coat and cure that so i feel like doing it separately with two separate curing times it works best but for the ring finger i just added two layers of that burgundy red color capping off the edge and curing both layers for a full minute then i took a little bit of that thick gel again and just applied a little bit of that towards the cuticle area because we're going to apply some red rhinestones and some gold embellishments as well because i'm always working with gels with my non-dominant hand because my right hand is my dominant hand but i always wear gels on my right hand um, it always takes me a little bit more time to make a set like this and as you can see i sped up this tutorial fully i think i sped it up for like one and a half times or two times the normal like time it took me and i did cut out some different parts because that was just curing time and stuff like that so i think in total for this hand this full hand doing it with my non-dominant hand it took me about 25 minutes so i am getting a little bit faster um but it still is a learning process for me and just hang in there with me bear with me guys i'm still learning to do this with my non-dominant hand perfectly and as fast as i would do it with my dominant hand so yeah after you have applied um five uh it's like three different sizes of rhinestones but five rhinestones in total i did wanted to add some uh, gold micro beads to just tie this design in completely and i also added a little like tip of an arrow in the center of that and after that i just cured it and applied a layer of that shiny top coat um, i get asked a lot why i prefer using a shiny top coat but i just really like things shiny and glowy and just glistening i just really like it i do think matte nails are, are really pretty too but personally i just prefer everything shiny so yeah just cap off your design and edge, edge of the nail <laughs> with that shiny top coat before you go on with pinky and as you can see on my pinky i have just uh, a little bit of nail glue and a piece of a tea bag on there because i had a little tear on the side of my nail and i just wanted to let that grow out fully um like a week after i made this design i actually broke off the tip of my pinky nail completely so you will only be seeing me um with this like patched pinky nail for this design and the mermaid one i still have to edit but since it is halloween season i really wanted to edit and upload these videos first and so if you want to know when the mermaid designs will be coming online that will be in november somewhere i don't know a date yet but i still have to edit them so the pinky i did the same as the pointer finger just added two layers of black some of that gold leaf flakes and capping it all in with a layer of shiny non-wipe top coat but yeah that was already the entire design 
um, do make sure that everything is fully cured if you do use uh, a regular shiny top coat don't forget to wipe off any of that sticky layer or or the residue you might have but yeah that was my first ever gel polish halloween design i really hope you liked it if you have any questions or comments do let me know in the comment section down below so i can reply to you directly and thanks so much for watching guys and i will see you in a next video